things from Paris. First YouTube video, so excited. I have so much to share, like Paris is unbelievable. Basically, if you don't know, you probably know. You're probably watching this video because you're just curious what I have to say and you probably won't ever watch another one again. Basically, I do commerce in French in UCC. I'm on my third year, my Erasmus year, and I'm in Paris. I'm here on my own. I'm going to college on my own. I have a content creation and social media managing agency. So I work from remotely from my phone here in Paris as well. So that's just like a really quick background, why I'm here, what I've gotten up to. So the first few vlogs are going to be really like whining and dining and shopping and sightseeing and positive vibes. I know I'm in holiday mode just because I just came. The vlogs are not always going to be like that. Um, what I really want to show on my YouTube is a side that I don't show on Instagram. Obviously on Instagram I show the highlights, on TikTok I show the highlights of my life as everyone does on social media. But YouTube I'm going to be very open and show you the reality. I'd say 50% of my videos are going to be like the sites and bringing you to these really cool places in Paris and my outfits and a work life and college life. But the other half is definitely going to be what it's really like and what I really get up to. The parts that I don't show on Instagram. This vlog basically is a small move-in vlog. I did film it two weeks ago. So my apartment has changed a bit since then. I've kind of changed it up and added a few things, taken away a few things. This video is just very basic. My friend Sarah comes over, we go to the loo, we go out for dinner, I, we do outfit of the days. I do a little apartment tour. I think I start off this video with an apartment tour, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. As I said, it might be a bit rusty. It's my first ever time, but I will promote on my Instagram story when I have a video up. This is the first kind of section. I got those pillow covers in Ikea yesterday. Just wanted to cover the green ones that were there because the green didn't go. And I love those little chairs. So there's no couch um, in this studio, just two of those chairs. And this is a really fun fact, right? This lamp is from Ikea, but it came with the, it came with the place. But they're the lamps that I have at home. Like if you recognize these, if you go to my Instagram highlight called interiors from like my bedroom back in Cork, this is the lamp I got, but like, I just think it's so, such a coincidence because like, out of all the lamps that they chose to decorate this apartment with, they chose that one. I don't know, I just find it so weird that it's the exact one. And they have them in gold and they have them in bigger size, but no, the small silver one is actually the one that I have at home. I got these in Urban Outfitters. Then I got this, this was at the H&M Home Checkout. Little vase, um, it's literally straight out of a Pinterest board, like... I'd say all of my interior Pinterest boards have this phase. You can get huge ones as well, but obviously isn't needed. I love like less is more. Like I will not be adding any more to this table. Got this today in H&M Home because I don't really have a mirror to kind of do my makeup. Like I do have that one, but I don't want to be standing up doing my makeup. I don't know, I just wanted like a small one. And I think that's like a perfect size. You can literally see me. I had to tie up my hair because it's just so hot. Okay, then there's this really nice mirror. I absolutely love it. Um... It does have a few marks. It came with the place because obviously a few people have lived here before. I have, but it's fine. I don't really mind too much about it. Then I just have a picture with my boyfriend. <laughs> um, I got this candle today in H&M Home. Love it. I don't even have a lighter to light it, but I think it looks so cute. Obviously, I will get a lighter. And then I have the matching one here. And then I got these trays. Now, I know this one looks a bit chaotic. Like for me, this is way too OTT bought my main big pink jewellery box is that has all of my stuff is at home in Cork. I'm getting that next week. I just brought over my main essentials. Um, yes, I know main essentials, meaning by this, I can't decide which one I wear every day. I got these separate cherries in H&M and I love them. So you could get them in black as well. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, you could turn one of them the other way and make it kind of like a yin yang um, slot because they were all stacked up the same kind of way. I'm not going to show the bed because I didn't get any bed sheets or duvets or anything today but this is exactly the setup of kind of of my bedside table at home so I just have my Prada book at home and then that exact lamp so it actually does make me feel like I'm in my own bedroom with the lamp okay I had to put the hair back because of the heat but what I'm going to show now is the center of the table so I just got like two things for that but there's like a main main thing that's going there um for the kitchen table so it's kind of like a long story, but it's not really. It's just like a nice kind of touch. My sister got married in Italy in May and I was one of the bridesmaids. And when I went into the bridesmaid suite, the smell was like a smell I've never smelled before. Like, you know, perfumes are like candles. You've kind of smelled one of those in another shop or something like that. But this smell was unbelievable. 
so I was like oh my god it must be some sort of like a soap it must be like a diffuser like um a spray like something that was in the room so I was searching the room and I found one of those I don't know what they're called I think they're called diffuser like the wooden sticks that go into like the perfume thing you know for rooms and basically I was I saw that in the corner and I was like okay that's definitely it so I smelt it and I was like yeah that is it I'm obsessed so I was like I don't care where it's from how much it is like I need that in my life like the smell was unbelievable so I checked for the label I was going to go on to the whatever website the label said and look for it or whatever but the name on the label was the name of the resort like hotel that we were in so I was like oh my god they must like make it on site or they own it so I went to reception and I was like do you, do you sell the these and I had a picture of it and they were like yeah they were like we produce them on site we don't sell them on a website so if you buy it you'll never be able to buy it again like it's a once in a lifetime because I'm not going to be back in the countryside of Italy where it was like it wasn't a touristy spot that you'd be going back to and they don't sell it online so like it was the only time I could get it so I got it it was 50 euro but it's a really big one and I said I'm going to wait and open it in my apartment in Paris because there's no point in opening it in Cork and being there for two months and having my Cork room smell unbelievable while nobody's there. So I thought this would be perfect because it'll fill up the whole entire room because it's all one room. So I'm going back next week to Cork, as I said, and that's the first thing I'm packing to bring back over because I just, I physically could not fit it. But it has its own place here on the table. So I'm going to show you the little table arrangement and you can kind of understand then what it's going to look like. This is the centre of the table and I got this in H&M. I didn't want anything too big. I think it's the perfect size. So they're coasters, but the the diffuser -y thing that I got in Italy is going to go there because I feel like that's the exact size of it. And it's cream and white. This is like a rail of stuff that I feel I'll wear most often. So like I feel like I'll always wear like these jeans for example and like this bodysuit. I feel like I'll always be living in that. I kind of have things that I think I'll wear a lot here. I'll put my bags on this end and this end I have one of my bags there. Today is a new day and I am meeting my friend Aoife. She does fashion blogging on Instagram as well. So she lives in Paris. I'm so excited to meet her. Um, we've been literally talking for months about when I come over that we have to meet up. So we're meeting up today. I'll see if she'll get in my vlog. We'll see what we get up to. I think we're going to go to Ikea because I didn't go yesterday when I was meant to. But I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. Okay, today's outfit of the day is from Looks to Kill. So the blazer and the matching skirt are both Looks to Kill. And the top is Princess Polly. Um, then I just have on Balenciaga's and high socks. Absolutely love it. I know I actually sized up in the skirt because it's down is it like ultra mini. And I didn't want it ultra mini up here, so I think I got this in a 10. And I got this in a 10 as well, just so it's nice and oversized. So I actually changed this from yesterday. I decided to put the marble, I have a marble slate, I said I put it here. Um, and then have my jewellery bits. So I'm wearing this little croissant ring from Zoe & Co. And then I just have the Cardi chunky hoops on. I think I wear these every single day because they're the perfect hoop. They're not too big and too small and I love chunky vibes. So yeah, I'm so excited for today, meeting my friend Aoife and then I'm meeting my friend Sarah in the evening. And I think I'm going to meet my friend Sarah tomorrow as well and then I fly back home to Cork on Sunday. Yesterday I got sidetracked and I was meant to get like essential things and I just didn't get them. I ended up getting stupid shite in H&M home that I just didn't need. But today I'm going to go to Ikea and get a duvet. Now I am using a sheet and to be honest I don't even use the sheet because it's just so hot. But I will need a duvet, so I'm going to get a thin one. I need to get bobbles, because I didn't bring any with me. I brought, like, a big neon pink scrunchie, but it doesn't really hold. Like, I just throw my hair in a bun when I go to bed with it. Like, it's not really for, like, a ponytail throughout the day. I'm sweating already, like, I can't have my hair down all the time. Yeah, I'm going to get bobbles today, maybe. I don't know where you have them. Like, I need to ask my friend who lives here if there's a place that's, like, equivalent to boots. Because the only place I've come across is, like, Sephora, and that's just, like, makeup. So, yeah, I'll vlog my day, and I think we're just going to go for coffee and just kind of catch up. Okay, I'm being so lazy and I got a taxi. It was a 36 minute walk, but like by the time I get there, I will be dripping in sweat. So I said, I just get a taxi, even though I'll probably have to get one home as well because I'll have all this stuff on my hand. But I'll learn how to use the Metro today, 100%. We are in Starbucks. Can you believe this is Starbucks? This is Aoife. Aoife lives in Paris. I'll leave her Instagram below. She also does fashion blogging. Okay guys, Sarah has arrived in Paris. So she was here for a golfing tournament because she's one of the best golfers ever. And she's staying in mine tonight. So we're going out for dinner. I didn't vlog at all earlier because it was just too humid. But me and Aoife just went to Ikea and got a few things. You just push that button on. So we're going out for dinner and we're doing so much exploring tomorrow. So we're gonna 
TikTok. We're gonna vlog the whole entire day tomorrow. Oh, it's so exciting! <laughs> this is my favorite place to go, Lake Claire. It goes for like breakfast, you can have cocktails in there, but it's really close to mine and we wanna like venture. We want to venture and I'm gonna bring her to a place that I haven't been before, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, so we couldn't vlog where we were having food and drinks because it was very... It was a bit fancy. It was a bit fancy and I didn't want to take out the camera and there was people like literally next to us. I was going to vlog on back camera like our food and stuff but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So basically we're waiting for the toffee fell <laughs> to light up. So it lights up on the hour and it's 10 to 10. So we're so excited. There she is. It's only getting dark now but it's going to light up 10 minutes so... So, Sarah is wearing? I'm wearing shoes, Converse. Um, shorts are Zara. Huh? We got a merch cap. Oh, you're just showing it, okay. I'm showing it, I can't <laughs> Blazer, crop blazer from Zara. Michael Kors. Um, no, Marc Jacobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marc Jacobs, top shot bag. Outfit of the day. Okay, blazer, sisters and seekers. Dress is naked fashion. Valencia, I guess. And sunglasses from ASOS. This is immaculate. Sarah, what do you have to say? Oh my god, I'm speechless. Yeah, I actually put the brightness down on this video so you can see it better because it's kind of still bright. Okay guys, we are going for breakfast and brunch kind of, well, it's 12 o'clock or it's 1 o'clock. So. We were meant to leave at like 12, but I decided to wash my hair and then it was puffy. So it took a bit longer than we thought, but we'll do, we'll do an outfit of the day when we get back. Yeah, yeah. and then we're changing to go to the Louvre. Okay, so we decided we didn't like the menu in the last place, so we're gonna come here and get some crepes instead. Okay, so we went for crepes and orange juice. So the orange juice has arrived. Cheers. <laughs> okay, the crepes have arrived. Sarah got two, I got two, and then we got Nutella, and we are so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. We just had the best crepes and orange juice ever. I already wore this outfit on, I already wore this outfit on the first day that I vlogged. I don't know if I'm gonna include that, but we'll see. We found a photo location. My phone's on a ledge and it's such a quiet street. Like there's literally no one. There's no one. So we're doing an outfit of the day. Okay. Do you wanna go first? I can go first. Okay. okay. I'll stand out with the frame. Okay. The top is, it is Kappa, but I got it on Zara. The skirt Stunning. is like a matching. And I'm wearing the same Converse. Dior bag <laughs> to match the navy. My Jacques Mousse bag. White top, cargoes, you can't really see them. And Balenciagas. Sunglasses from Princess Polly. I wore them the other day as well. Vibes. Okay, so. We're in a taxi and we're gonna go to the Louvre. Honestly, I wish I sat over there. Huh? It is so nice. <laughs> and that is the Ferris wheel and the Jardin de Toulouse. It's so fab. We've arrived. That's amazing. At the Louvre. Top of the triangle. It is just insane, isn't it? It's stunning. Not going inside, like as you can see, the queue is so long anyway. Um, but we're gonna get some pictures because it's just such a photographic area. Okay, okay, no, that way. Keep going, you're nearly there. Keep, I can actually just position the camera. Okay, so keep, yeah, just leave your finger there. Oh my god, she's getting her wedding photos at the Louvre. At the Louvre. That is, that is gold. That is actually gold. That is gold. Oh. Okay, we were passing the cafe next to the Louvre, the literally next to the Louvre and you usually have to have a reservation but we didn't have one so we said we'd like take whatever seat we got and we got one next to the balcony like looking we are just triangle. waiting for a glass of rosé now we could not be happier <laughs> I finished my rosé we are just taking in the moment because the 3G and um, Wi-Fi isn't working so we have no social media so we're just really like, I like it though. My favourite part of this whole thing is the ceiling. We're gonna get lunch here, but I think we're gonna let lunch somewhere else. Do you wanna? Yeah. They got acid and say, and this we got crisps. See, they're perfect. Yeah. We're just so delighted, aren't we? Yeah, we actually got like, it's just so nice to sit down and just like, yeah. take away for a minute. 
like having because Sarah you're le leaving she's leaving at like 8 or 9 tonight and then I'm going home tomorrow back to Cork <laughs> back to the rain I'd say the next time we update we might be on the Ferris wheel I hope so I hope so too Sarah and I we did end up going on the Ferris wheel but I didn't I did vlog it but I didn't include it because the video was just getting so long so I think it was at 17 minutes when I stopped recording um but that was just like a brief intro to my youtube channel just you know a small little apartment tour it's obviously a lot more decorated now so i'll probably do an updated one in the coming weeks yeah, as i said i wined and dined went to the tourist attractions but it's not always going to be like that now the next one will because my friend's coming over tomorrow we're going to go to the dior cafe show a bit of the behind the scenes of taking content for instagram and just what we get up to because it's her first time it's orla's first time in Paris so I really want to show her all the amazing places so I will definitely vlog that as well but maybe the one after that might be a little bit more reality of living as a student in Paris.